my friends and welcome back. So the original plan for today was to actually do a video on the new sniper that was added as part of the update yesterday. I mean technically the plan was actually to do the video yesterday but then I got some really 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 exciting news and I just couldn't concentrate on doing a video. So then I was gonna upload the sniper video today but I figured that I would talk about the good news that I got which I have spoken about on Twitter but I know there's probably a lot of you that don't follow me on Twitter so you won't have seen. This is quite a hard video for me to do, I'll be honest. I have obviously talked about my illness very loosely on the channel, like you guys know if I'm going into hospital or if I'm feeling unwell and there's stuff going on, but I've never kind of openly talked about what's wrong with me. And it's not that I'm ashamed or embarrassed to talk about it, it's more just that I'm quite a private person. My videos have always been a bit of a distraction from that side of my life. And it's the internet. And well, we all know how toxic the internet can be so but since I've talked about it on Twitter and I actually have some good news to share it kind of felt like this was the right time to talk about it so I have an illness called cystic fibrosis which I was born with uh, it's a hereditary illness and it predominantly nerfs the lungs and the digestive system so it's a bit gross but the, the mucus is a bit thicker than a normal person's what that means is that I live with chronic infection in my lungs and uh, my digestive system doesn't work properly, which is why I am such a small human. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I have people commenting that think that I just don't eat and that I'm trying to be skinny when I have to have 3,000 calories a day just to stay this way and even more to try and put on weight. It's like the biggest struggle and I hate being too skinny. I hate it, but I can't do anything about it. You know, it is what it is. It's a progressive illness, which means as you get older, older it gets worse so the lungs become more damaged a lot of the damage is permanent and irreversible and you basically lose a lot of your lung function so it's harder to do day-to-day -day activities because you can get really short of breath obviously the constant infections mean that you feel unwell a lot of the time you have no energy because your body is so focused on trying to fight infection that it just uses all of your energy up so so <laughs> that explains why my upload schedule has been so trash over the years. I try to get on with things as much as possible but I just get so exhausted. Half the time I'll come and sit down at my computer to record and I will literally just sit like a zombie. So there is no cure for cystic fibrosis. I spend the first two hours of every day doing treatment and airway clearance to try and keep my lungs as clear as possible. I take a cocktail of drugs every single day. When I'm in need of an extra little buff if I'm feeling particularly unwell or my infection is higher than normal that usually requires being admitted to hospital for two weeks so that I can do IV therapy. I mean generally you just have permanently low energy and feel a little bit shit you know and obviously this is just a small snapshot of, of some of the stuff that having cystic fibrosis involves. Uh, there's, there's definitely a lot more to it truthfully it's like a thousand shitty illnesses rolled up into like one huge ball. <laughs> But the CF community has just received some really, really amazing news. So there's a pharmaceutical company in the US called Vertex who have developed a new drug called Tricafter. It's going to be marketed as Caftrio um, in Europe. And that has been available for US CF patients since October last year. I also have a really good friend in the States who was on the clinical trials before the drug got approved by the FDA. And it has just done like such incredible things for him. It's completely turned his life around. And I have also read a lot of other accounts from US patients who are on the drug. The benefits are so insane. The drug is a modulator, which means it actually goes in and helps the faulty protein that causes cystic fibrosis to work more effectively. So while it's not a cure, this is literally the next best thing that exists at the moment. And, and it's the biggest advancement in CF in over 30 30 years, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. So what it means for people with CF is that you have less infection in your lungs, which means you have less hospitalizations, you don't feel unwell as often, you have way more energy, you can actually put on weight again. It's so huge. 
And it means that people like myself and other people in the community who have lived with this debilitating illness all their lives finally have access to something that is gonna give them a future. Nobody knows what's around the corner for them, but when you have grown up constantly being told that the life expectancy for somebody with cystic fibrosis is in their 30s and that most people still are making it to their 30s, it's a really tough pill to swallow. So for this to become available is just like, the, it's the best, it's just the best thing that ever could have happened and it's really bittersweet because it's, there's been a couple of modulators in the past, they only sort of work so well and they are only available for a really small um, part of the CF population so the mutations, because everybody with CF has different mutations, so the mutations that I have weren't eligible for, for those uh, modulators but this one is actually available for 90% of the CF population. Obviously I'm incredibly happy that this is going to be available to me but I'm also aware that there's 10% of the CF community who aren't going to get to benefit from this. There's people who have already had to undergo double lung transplants who um, I don't think can benefit from this and there are also a lot of people who have lost their fight to CF before this has become available and it's just really shit. Honestly, I feel incredibly lucky to be in the position that I am. So it is a little bit of a bittersweet moment, you know, um, and obviously there's still a lot of work to be done for the other 10% that can't benefit from this. And I, you know, I have faith that something will come along. It's It's been really tough knowing that this has existed in the US since October. Reading everybody's stories about it has been so amazing, but then it kind of got to a point where I, I started to feel sad that I knew there was something out there that I wasn't able to benefit from yet. For those of you who don't know, with the other two modulators that weren't as effective, it took four years to get approval for that in the UK through the NHS and again there was a lot of heartbreak with people really needing those drugs and not getting access to them in time and honestly it was just completely screwed up and I think everybody thought there was going to be another huge battle on the hands to make sure that the NHS signed a deal with Vertex because these drugs aren't cheap but you can't put a price on saving thousands of lives and giving people the ability to work again, to exercise again, to start families because starting families with this illness is just incredibly difficult. It's currently with the EMA, which is the European Medicine Agency, for approval because although it's approved in the US, we still have to get everything approved over here. And they have basically signed off on it. I think it just needs to go through some other things. And then yesterday, we got the news that the NHS has signed a deal for it so so as soon as it gets the final approval it's going to be available and they're saying that it could be as little time as a few weeks I feel like I'm not ready for this it's so weird because you hear about these things and you know that they can help you but they just feel like they're always like out of reach and now it's so close I when I read the news yesterday, I literally sat in this chair for about four hours and I just kept bursting into tears because it's just, it was a very overwhelming day. I don't think any of us were expecting it to go through so quickly. Like I say, I tweeted about it. The response was so incredible and I just really appreciate all the love and support. This is such a difficult thing to talk about because I don't really go into an awful lot of detail about my my personal life but you guys have always been so incredibly supportive to me and you've helped me get through a lot of stuff and I just felt like because this was really good news I couldn't not share it with you so I have just dumped a lifetime worth of shit on your shoulders. Doing this channel has always been a bit of an escape for me, playing video games has always been a bit of an escape for me. It's definitely not going to become a channel where this is all I talk about but now that I've kind of addressed it, if there are sort of positive updates in the future or once I actually get the drug and I start to feel better from it then, you know, maybe I will share little things like that. I mean, who knows? Maybe once I get this drug I'll actually become godly at modern warfare. I said that to my husband and he told me it's not a miracle drug.
Anyway guys, I just wanted to let you know that I'm about to get the biggest buff of my life and today is a good day. I have probably done a horrible job of explaining this and I've probably missed out so much stuff because I feel like my head is all over the place and it's really hard to put my feelings into words. Anyway guys, I just wanted to say an absolutely huge thank you for all of the support. I had so many kind messages on Twitter and I just really appreciate this community. It is such a lovely community. Everybody is so kind and you've just helped me through so many tough times. Anyway guys, normal videos will resume. We will get back on the Damascus grind and we'll do something with the Ritex Sniper. As always, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Now let's see if I'm actually brave enough to post this.